Hi everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. Um, I'm here to do my weekly paper crafting video and I, I've only just sort of woken up from a nap. It's Friday the 6th of July, so it's only a couple of days after my ops. I'm still feeling really bruised and battered, so I've kept the cards simple for this week. Um, and what I have a note card section on my Etsy shop. And while I'm mentioning that, in case you've missed any of my other videos, I have a 15% sale off everything. So that's 15, one five, um, off everything in my Etsy shop for the whole of July. So, yeah, I'm going to try and get some a note card section rather than just like what I call greetings cards. Um... And I'm still trying to finish off a junk journal to put on Etsy and things because I can't crochet at the moment. So apologies for anybody wanting new crochet items on there. It's just I can't do it at the moment. I'm not allowed to do that sort of thing with how my chest is. I had my uh, reveal removed. It's the size of a matchstick and a little bit thicker than that. And it's a device which monitors the heart, because in case some of you don't know, I do have a heart problem. It's very unique. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling really bruised and battered and stuff, but I still want to come on and do a bit of crafting. So I've kept it quite simple. But before I carry on, I forgot to show you this in my haul video. Um... When we went to Bridport, they had a market there. Every Saturday and Wednesday, they have an outdoor market. And there was this potter there. And I love pottery. I did it at school. Really loved it. And at one stage, I was thinking of getting a potter's wheel and stuff like that. But it never happened, which is probably a good thing. But I brought this. And I thought it would be really handy to keep uh, water in when I want to rinse my paintbrushes. As it's quite heavy. I don't, hopefully that's picking up yeah that's it and it's been imprinted with a shell and the bloke said they're all one one offs because you know the glaze is never going to run the same and yeah I just thought it was really it's very different for me because it's not overly girly and I just thought it was so nice and something different and I wanted to bring back a memory of my holiday so I got that so I just wanted to show you that before I carried on so I'll just pop that back so I don't drop it yeah so I'm doing a set of five note cards and they're with the one of the hunky dory packs and it's the spring yeah I think it's called spring days it's something to do with like spring and stuff so but what I've done this time is rather than a whole image I've used one of my spellbinder dies to cut out some of the image and then a couple to cut the mat out so I have done that off camera because um, if you're new to my channel I've got the ebosser and there's not enough room for me to bring it in and now with my um op and stuff I can't do that sort of movement I've Oh, I just forgot how sore I would feel after this. I've had other procedures and stuff. Um, but I used to have a defibrillator fitted. And I had seven of them and one thing and another. I won't go into it too much. And apologies for that. We had a bit of a battery um, malfunction. So that's sort of, yeah. So as I was saying, I sort of forgotten just how... Um, sore I would be after um after it so it's annoying me a bit that I want to sort of do stuff and I have to keep nodding and things but you know I get that um I'm just thinking I might just edge this a bit so I'm not quite sure I was thinking ink pads but I'll use my sharpies just so it's got a little sort of bit of something I do love craft card and actually this and this is two different colours so craft card isn't I didn't realise I thought it's like a standard sort of colour but it um has varied a bit so I'm just going to go round and do this um 
and I keep saying I want to do a live video it won't be this weekend um, as I want to get this junk journal finished um, and I also want to do a crochet video because I haven't done one of them for a while um, but I've been trying to think what to do for a live video because I noticed quite a few people do things while they're doing it so I thought I could either like make cards like I am now or my main thought is I might do my um, pick 10 live I thought that might be quite fun to do so um, yeah I think that'd be my thought but it won't be this weekend it'll probably be next weekend and I think a Saturday um, or Sunday evening would be best um, normally because I'm not doing something the next day and things like that well, I do like how I've gone round now so let's just go up here roughly yeah so I'm glad I did um, shade that in fact while I've got this sharpie out let's is that gonna just so that's got something a bit more to pop on I think I'll do that I do love sharpies because they go on everything um yes I'm feeling a bit drowsy I went to sleep for two hours so obviously I needed that to mend a bit um but I've got to keep the dressing on till next Wednesday Thursday thankfully there are no stitches so I don't have to have them removed oh hate having stitches removed I can cope with the big stuff the little stuff like having the cannula and things oh no I think it's probably since I've been doing this well ever since I was born really but stuff that I sort of remember from the age of five so um but I had a lovely bunch of nurses um they were really nice and understanding to why I was so anxious and nervous um and in the theatre bit um I had it with local but I had loads of um heavy sedation and um they gave me quite a big dose of morphine and that always affects me for um quite a while so um gives me a bit of a headache and stuff thankfully the headache side of it seems to have eased off a bit um, I'm not moaning because I want attention or anything like that it's just you know I do my usual chit chat and I just realized I didn't get any little embellishments so I will just grab that So yeah, I've sort of gone with a spring theme for these note cards. I'm probably not going to put bling on everything. So if they want to send a note to a man or something, I know men could have bling, but not most of the men I know. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd do some little spring theme note cards and then I think next week I'll use the cat paper pad and do some note cards with that um I also got a project um project share that I want to upload so I've got a book now and I sort of make a list it was the book I was using when I was doing the 100 thing challenge so I'm now writing down any ideas for videos I want to do or say like the um the junk journal that I'm trying to get finished and I hope to do this weekend is a butterfly and flower theme junk journal because I thought everybody loves flowers and butterflies and then I've been writing down ideas that I've got for new junk journals and what I do um like I've got a little box here that my um sprocket paper comes in and I was going to throw it away and I thought, oh no, that would be a really nice um, mini junk journal. Because not everybody wants great big ones. Sometimes you want a small one to put in your bag if you're going on holiday or something. So I've sort of got a little project 
projects in mind and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm glad I put the red round that. Makes it pop a bit. I might use foam pads for this, I think. So I'm going to be lazy. <laughs> I'm not going to pick out these. I'm just going to cut it off. I'm feeling lazy and I think I'm allowed. Um, yeah, so it's just loads of ideas I'm getting. And I have been um, binge watching and I haven't been out of sleep. So obviously it's still really warm in the UK. Um... Jessica Rapp's videos, um, I keep missing her live because I think it's like midnight in the UK, but I might be able to watch it this Sunday because I'm not doing anything Monday, I'm still on orders of rest, so um, yeah, I'm thinking, thinking that. So yes, lots of little ideas going around in my little head, just trying to keep on top of keeping my Etsy shop fresh with ideas. I've gone over the centre a bit because I really dislike sort of the edge there. So I thought these would be quite nice um, note cards. They're very country and rustic. I like the feel of it. So that's the churchy one. Um, yeah, let me just check. I'm pretty sure... Where's my... Oh, that's centimetres. So in centimetres they are... 13 by 17 and a half and in inches they are seven yeah seven by five or five by seven so I just really love that it's a nice and simple it's what I need at the moment can't cope with much much more and I the papers I've used are from that um, Paris paper pad that I got from Wilco so, um, but obviously I picked ones that one, two French. I mean, that's Frenchy. Doesn't sound right. Two French. I mean, uh, I mean, this has got text on it, but um, it's quite small text. All right. So I'll go around this in green because I really do like the way that I've edged that, and I'll probably add bling, bling to this one. I can't speak. All right. That's fine. That's going to be okay. Let's just decide. Oh, that's quite dark. Oops, a daisy. Ah, let's use that green. So let's go around this again. So I'm going to have lovely coloured um, drop paper, and so I'm not going overly neat around this. Um, yeah, thank you to my new subscribers. One's called Bookish, and I can't remember the rest of her name, so I apologise for that. I have, is it Bookish Paradise or something like that? So I have sub, sub that. So anybody that has subscribed to me, I have subbed back to, because I think that's quite a nice um, thing to do. Am I in frame? Let's just come in a bit more. It's um, yeah, so I do always sub back. I'm trying to catch up on some videos I've missed, but I don't think that's going to happen because obviously new ones keep cropping up. Um, and I always comment on a video I watch. I will always leave a comment because um, I've heard it's important to leave a comment and also do a thumbs up. It helps that person get a bit more noticed on the recommended thing that YouTube does. So yeah, I have 515 subscribers and I'm chuffed for that. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for all your support and everything. I'll just move that for a minute. Let's get this. But see, I, might, <laughs> I get excited about the papers underneath. <laughs> I'm a bit funny. I don't know if anybody else is like that. When you make drop, um, look at your drop paper and or painted papers, I need to do that as well. Um, I do that as well. I've got some um, envelopes that I want to paint because um, I watched Jessica Rapp's video and she was cutting out images out of a floral book that she'd got. Like they call it like a thrift store, but charity shop. 
and yeah so she was cutting them out and inking them up and then the paper she was putting them on like the book paper and use um yeah i think it's book pages she had lightly um painted over and gessoed over it and put the images on that and then um then put the images on say like a craft card or something and cut round and added them onto tickets and pockets and I thought that was a really fun idea so I thought um I have got gesso but I want to keep on top of using like my paints and stuff so they don't dry out too much so I plan to do that I've got so many ideas it's just the time and energy at the moment I'm sure the rest of you like that. and then I'll come up closer so this is like the bird birdie one but I just thought it was a different way to use up um use those images because they're nice whole but then um I think I did it with some Christmas ones one year where I cut into them with a die and I really like taking part of the image so um yeah, I'll probably be doing some more things like this. But this play ball, I've got a mind of its own, this one. Right, I might go a bit more central with this one. Oh, got a tape poking through there. Let's poke you back under. Oh, and get the words up the right way. That's better. And this one. So yeah, how are you all doing? How are you, if you're in the UK, how are you coping with this heat? I'm basically drinking loads of cold orange squash. I've like made up a bottle and put it in the fridge so it keeps nice and cool. The fan is going in the lounge, so if the cats come in, they can be cool. Um, yes, I'm so how are you all coping with the heat? Even if you're in, whether you're in the UK or not. <laughs> I know I'm melting. I like it, but my um, health certainly doesn't. Um, that's why I think I'm sleeping during the day, because I'm not sleeping well at night. Sleep pattern is definitely all over the place, but then again, it always has been. Um, and Elizabeth, I promise I will do my crochet video this weekend. I promise you it will get done. Yeah, Elizabeth from... Never Hopeless by Elizabeth. She asked me to do um, a crochet video because it's been a while, which I agree it has been a while. So I do promise I will do a crochet video and try and get in the habit of doing it a bit more often. So that is going to go there. Um, let's get these out. Oh, that bag totally had it. I try and keep them in their bags now. So let's get some green ones. Here we go there. So this is the bling I got from the craft show. And I think the shop was called Jelly Bean. I think it was. So I've got that little, little one. Alright, let's bring this back in again. Yeah, so I thought set of five was quite a nice number to um, have for a card thing. Right, I need to find another green. I keep getting the wrong drawer. Now, is there a yellow that I could add? Let's use the yellow because there's a bit of yellow in that. And it will look a bit darker on here. So, it will sort of have a bit of a green, greeny tinge to it. If one of you have nicked my teeth because I can't speak, can you give them back? And I um, saw Elizabeth, Elizabeth's live video. I do like um, watching a live video. It's nice to um, interact. And I also, um, if you're into crochet as well like me, um, I think Jan Carruthers, I think most Saturday night she does a crochet live video. So yeah, I'm getting a bit excited and nervous about doing this live video but um, but like I said not this weekend so many little things I need to do um, and stuff 
be meaning to try and get that blinking journal finished for ages. Sorry, I keep going on about it, but it's because I can see it and it's bugging me because I want to get it done. But I um, don't think it would have been a good idea me trying to use the um, sewing machine today. I mean, it was bad enough trying to... Ooh. Oh, well, it's getting covered up that bit. Obviously, some tape got that. It's bad enough doing a little bit of washing up today, so I certainly don't want to overdo it with the um, sewing machine. It's already on my dining table, but I've got to just move it a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if my mum and dad are coming over somewhere this weekend, so um, if needs be, I'll get one of them to move it a bit for me. Just slide it along the table and then I can do the rest. Yeah, all these crafts I like doing, I try to keep on top of um, sort of using the supplies I've got and stuff. So, um, I don't want to get overwhelmed again, even though I have ordered some stuff off um, eBay. I've ordered some more glossy accents. Um, some postage stamps, I found a good deal there, 300 stamps, so it works out a penny a stamp, because <laughs> they were like 2 99 free postage. So, um, oh, and the Tim Holtz dolls, I've actually um, brought myself, ordered some Tim Holtz dolls off eBay. I keep, I've had them like um, in Happy Mail and stuff, and I just love them, and I thought, no, I'm finally going to buy myself a pack. All right, so let's go a bit over this side again. I don't know, I always gravitate to that side when I do things like this. Yeah, so thank you for the get well wishes on Facebook and YouTube. Yes, everything has gone well. So, um, yeah, thank you for that, it meant a lot. I think, I think YouTube is such an, I've probably said it loads of times, but I think it's a lovely um, community where we do support each other. I know there's a couple of trolls out there who do, you know, do the thumbs down or leave um, an unpleasant comment, but it's so far and few between and you can block them and stuff like that. So if they want to waste their time, putting a come on or thumbs down it helps our channels out in a weird way so um yeah i'm certainly not going to let them bother me i've been bullied all my life and i now realize it's them with the problem and not me sort of thing right so that is going to go there oh sorry i didn't show you the image so this is like a little cottage with um a little pond with its duckies and a goose and i am going because it's Something on there, so I am going to cover that up. I think I might go a bit goldy this time, so because these are attached, but the colours aren't like all together, they're sort of a bit all over the place. So you sort of have to pick the colour you want and hold the others down. Oh, that one didn't have its stick. I might just get a glue dot for that. Can easily sort that problem. Little pickle. Right. Do that. And let's put those three there. That's that one. Uh, card number four. Uh, so I'm definitely going to put bling on this one. I'm just going to look at this one. I won't put bling on that one. They are sort of all a bit female-y. I noticed a lot of the images in this. Right. So the colours in this are purpley. So let's find. I don't want too dark a purple. Have I got the light purple? Yes, I have. Perfect. Hot, hot, hot. And maybe not every woman likes bling. Some people aren't blingy, girly. I mean, I am girly, but I do like wearing um, jeans um, and stuff like that. But I also like to wear skirts and dresses. It just 
depends on how I'm feeling today. I've got like some florally, is that a word? Floral, that's the better word, floral um, trousers on. So yes, I've got trousers on, but they've got a girly thing to them and the, um, I mean, I'm not a tomboy, not at all, you know, I'm not into football or anything like that. Um, when I was little, I liked to play with um, dolls and stuff, and I got so upset when my brother wanted to bring his action men into it and put them in a tank and stuff. Now, I was quite upset, you know, she... Barbie was not meant to go in the tank, in my opinion, obviously now. Being politically correct, Barbie can do whatever she likes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I wanted um, my dolls to play gently. Um, I had teddy bears and I used to take the one of the dining chairs from the lounge and um, pretend it was a bus and my teddy bears and dolls would go for bus rides and to the beach. I, um, I used my imagination quite a bit. Maybe that's why I'm crafty now. Um, but Mark definitely wasn't into that. Um, if he played, it was very much, um, he had one of those, oh, something price, garages, you know, where, um, you sort of rolled them up and down. He would, um, get matchsticks out and make them roads and work out how far that particular car had rolled down. Whereas I wanted to make up stories that they'd been on a trip and they had to go to a garage and, you know, stuff like that. Or, um, you know, I, I was always the make-believe fairy girl. I think that's why I like fantasy films now. Like, um, I like the Twilight Saga and things like that. And The Handmaid's Tale, I'm watching that, uh, as well as um, Outlander. So, um... Yeah, I've been more into the fantasy and sci-fi sort of things, like I like Star Wars and um, things like that, whereas my brother prefers um, comedy films more. I like comedy as well. So if there's anything out to do with Harry Potter, I have to um, wait for it to come on the telly or buy the DVD because none of my family are really into that sort of thing. So that's a bit of a pain. In fact, I might just keep this pad out rather than putting it back and forth. Why didn't I think of that sooner? Because I'm a plum. <laughs> and I just realised this text isn't the right way. It would be going that way. But I'm sure whoever buys it will let me off. I really need to get someone to, t I've got some bags in the hall for the charity shop, so um, I'll have to ask when mum and dad are next over to um, help me drop them off at the charity shop. Um, I've had a, like a sort out of my clothes and things like that, so, um, and there's some crochet items that I've made um, and things, so yeah, I want to drop that off somewhere. It's a bit far to walk with those bags, and certainly not doing that in this heat. Um, certainly wouldn't be good for me. Oh, so we're using up from. I sort of forget to. I forget foam pads. I sort of forget I can do a tiny bit of dimension in something. So I'm um, kind of remember to use all the different glues and things. I'm, is anybody else like that? Do you sort of? forget Eve and the glue she've got. I can understand, um, like I sort of, when I tidied up my craft room, it's like, oh, I've got that, or I need to buy that because I've run out of that. So, um, yeah, is anybody else like that? Right, let's get these back off. They don't want to come off, they're sticking. Everything's so sticky, all like liquid glue is very liquidy at the moment, right, that can go there, so we'll do some, so I've got bling on three cards and not on two, but I think I can get away with that, right, let's have a purple, let's go this way for a change, we'll have a purple one, put a pinky, oh that's quite bright pink, oh, no. uh, and another purple. 
lovely one. Right, so I'm going to pop those up there. So we've got that little note card. And the last one is sort of a bird cage and part of a bike with these really pretty flowers. Um, I used pink for that board. Uh, what shall I use? Let's just find a light blue. I'm going to dark blue. I know I've got a light blue in here. Why are they the same? No, they're not. Let's see which one would be better. Powder blue or... Hmm. I think I'm going to go with that powdery blue. Yep, I'm melting. <laughs> oh, that looks a bit tealy on there, but it blend. It blend in. I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't know why I've started this way. I'm going to start from the top of the card, but hey, hey I'm going this way this time. I hope you've been able to see everything and I haven't covered up things too much with my um, hands. It's been, it feels like ages since I've done a paper craft video. I suppose it is because I didn't do one when I was on holiday so in a way I've kind of missed out a week. I'm going to have to work out how I can um, schedule a video so like I could have some to come up so if I was um, on holiday or something I could um, work out that. Sorry, I'm, when I'm colouring I go a bit daydreamy, so apologies for that. Yeah, I was in a little world of my own then, so, um, yeah. It's alright, I'm not sticking my tongue out while I'm colouring, but, yeah, I just went in my little world of my own, and, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I mean, I know it's very simple cards, but as I explained at the beginning, I'm just not up to too much, but I am. Um, just wanted to come in the craft room and unwind a bit. So, um, yeah. Yeah, next week I think I'll be doing the cat ones while I'm sort of enjoying this theme. I sort of go through a phase where I'll use a theme or a style and I'll do it for so much and then I get really fed up of it and then back into it again so I think that's why I like to have a couple of little projects on the go and I know there's some things I do I am so sorry about that I've been making these cards and chatting away to you all and my camera had its little blip again so I'm not sure what's recorded and what hasn't I'll have a look um so I'm really sorry about that this is um not been the best paper craft video so I've been making these note cards using hunky dory kits and I've been chatting away and hadn't realised um yeah so I'm sorry <laughs> so I've made this one and I've used a mixture of craft card and paper so these will be a set of five um on my Etsy shop so there's this one I'm trying not to get the glare too much and some have got bling on and some haven't so I'm really not sure what's filmed so I'm really sort of upset I was having a lovely chat to you all and yeah damn these cameras so I'm gonna have to keep a bit of an eye on them my churchy one so I'm not sure what's recorded and what hasn't so um could be a bit of an odd video so I'm really sorry about that I will still upload this as my week 18 and yeah who knows what's happened to my camera see you all